VVA Pocahontas Bankshares Regional Championship was guaranteed heading into today's third and final round of a new champion. Former champion Charlie Green fell out of contention after round two, and today it was up to Bluefield State's Chris Castle and Taswell's Jim Huffman to win it or lose it. The leaders opened the round four over. At the turn, both were at plus five, and a par three thirteenth turned both players' championship dreams into nightmares. Uh, 13, I got in the fairway bunker to the right, and I just, I just flooded my bunker shot out of there, and I just, I tried to make five there, and then I, I hooked my tee shot on the next hole. And then on 16, I hit a pretty good shot up there to make birdie, like two feet, to get it back to four over for the day. And I missed that, and on the next hole, I almost hit somebody off the tee, and just, they fell off. For Huffman, it was his four putt on 13 that sealed his fate. It was the best uh, chance I had going into back nine. I think I was uh, tied for the lead, and uh, the wheels fell off. That happens. And while the leaders were falling, a new one was emerging. Travis Wolf, a rising senior at Appalachian State, made his move on the back nine, but he had to save par on 13 to keep his momentum going. Wolf landed his second shot on the green's upper slope, leaving him a treacherous putt. Wolf carefully negotiated the par, and that may have been the shot that saved his round. I knew it was a tricky, tricky putt. I knew I just had it dribble it down there, but uh, it was a good two putt and it felt good and felt real solid and uh, it carried over the next, next hole. With 13 behind him, Wolf threw his game into high gear with birdies on 14 and 15 to pull away and win the tournament by five shots. For a while, I just felt really good. I had a great time out there. It's like um, I just, everything was flowing. I worked hard and I knew I worked hard and it just paid off and I felt comfortable, very comfortable. The senior's title went to Ira Lee, while Virginia Tech-bound freshman David Havens took the junior's title. 127 golfers teed it up on Friday, and tournament director Ron Satterfield says this year's tournament was a major success. They're all caliber, good caliber players. I couldn't have been happier with the field, nor the quality of it, nor the outcome. It was just, uh, just an outstanding tournament. So Travis Wolf has been crowned the champion of the 1992 Regional Golf Championship, but it appears we will be back next year for round two. From the Fincastle Country Club, covering the 1992 Regional Golf Championship, I'm Woody Morgan, New Center 6 Sports. All right, thanks, Woody. The final standing show, Wolf, a five-shot winner over Buck Britton, Kenny Richardson, and James Huffman finished tied for third. Chris Castle, Jerry McKinney, and Ira Lee finished tied for fourth, eight shots off the pace. To the PGA Championship in St. Louis now, Gene Sowers doesn't look like he likes his tee shot on number six, and for good reason. It's in the water. He loses the lead right there. And that opens the door for Nick Price to shoot a final round 70 and win the PGA title by three shots. Price pockets $280,000. Sowers, John Cook, Nick Faldo, and Jim...